Today's video is all about SketchUp. I'm gonna give you five reasons you should start learning right now. My name is Katerina Magan, designer, and I see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, it's all about SketchUp and my five reasons you should start learning right now if you're a garden designer or a landscaper. Number one, ease of use. So SketchUp has a really simple, easy learning curve, okay? So that's one of the most important things when you're starting out a software, is that the first impact, it doesn't get you too, uh, too uh, scared because it's just too much going on and too complex. So SketchUp is really easy. You have a, a simple toolbar to start with. That doesn't mean the program is weak. It means that you can start simple and build on top of it or using extensions and plugins you can add on once you're more familiar with the software. So that's my first reason and I think a really important one when it's just starting out. Reason number two is the possibility of importing and exporting a number of files, including uh, CAD files. Really important if you want to use this software professionally because you're going to receive CAD files you want to import into SketchUp and you want to export as well. So if you go to files, and this is not for the free version, it's only for the pro version, okay? If you go to file, you can come and see here, import. Okay, I'm going to open this window here. And you can see here, you have all these type of files. In the description of this video, I'm going to add uh, the link for my blog post where I actually have all the file extensions that you can check out. But with this type of uh, uh, possibility using SketchUp Pro, you can do a lot professionally, okay? So when you're exporting, you can export as 2D, as an image, or you can export as a 3D. And again, you have here all these options of exporting file extensions, okay? So that's a really important tool to have if you want to work with it professionally, okay? Number three is the amazing 3D warehouse. So this is a whole library of 3D models from brands or from other modelers that just want to share their, uh, their modeling skills with you. So it's an open source, it's free, and it's an amazing tool to have, specifically if you want, you know, to just decorate your project, some piece of furniture, something you can find it here in the 3D warehouse. So that's a really, really important source to have. Number four is the extension warehouse. So like the 3D warehouse for model for 3D models, extension warehouse is a warehouse full of extension and plugins. So SketchUp is such a versatile program that a lot of people use it for really different things, like for um, organic modeling or for woodworking uh, and architects. So you have different scales of projects going on and you have extensions for specific tools, that they are specific tools for each type of modeling you want to use. So you have here, as you can see in the categories, uh, you have all by uh, do, uh, things you model. So you have landscape architecture, you have for rendering, for example, uh, interior design, you have specific things and you have a lot of plugins and extensions that you can explore. Okay. Some really amazing ones are free. Some really amazing ones are paid really try it on. Normally they have a trial period uh, that you can try it on. Try it on first, see if it really works for what, you, what you're looking for. And then I think it's worth paying for it, okay? And number five is the possibility of creating amazing renderings with other stopper software like Lumion or Twinmotion. And here is an example of really simple upload it and I had all the vegetation done in SketchUp, uploaded into Twinmotion, just added a little bit uh, things in Twinmotion and there you go, you can create an amazing rendering, okay? So the possibility, oh, using V-Ray, for example, inside SketchUp. Of course, there is loads of examples that people use just SketchUp to do their uh, renderings and maybe sometimes they go a little Photoshop after that and add some things uh, to create a, a more artistic uh, kind of rendering for their project. But you can uh, explore programs like Twinmotion and Lumion if you want to create a more realistic one. So that was my five reasons you should start learning SketchUp right now if you're a garden designer or a landscaper. It's an amazing software and really, really future proof, okay? Because you can build a lot on top of that. 
and I'm going to add another another little reason you have you can start with using the free version okay so you have SketchUp web if you really want to start getting familiar with the software it's an amazing software and another reason you have layout there is a sister program of SketchUp comes with SketchUp Pro if you if you if you subscribe to SketchUp uh, Pro it's around 300 a year uh, and it's an amazing tool to create your presentations okay if you want to try it out uh, at a special price I have in the link in the description of this video of the blog post you're going to find there a code you can start uh, to by trying planting plants in SketchUp and layout so you can have a little feel of what you can do in SketchUp and layout okay thank you guys I hope you like it thank you see you in the next one